So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? This is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and I'm bringing to you guys my classic Elemental Hero deck. Now, by classic, I mean this is summoning things like Flame Ring Man, Shining Flame Ring Man, Plasma Vice, even the Omni Heroes as well. And as you can see by Spark Man as well on the top. Like this is just classic Elemental Hero. I've been working on this deck for a little while. And with Dual Power just coming out around the corner, what it feels like around the corner, giving us some hopefully more support. I think we're getting the double hero attack or something like that. If you control like a Neos Fusion, you can summon a non Neos Fusion hero from your extra deck or something like that. A uh, really nice card for the deck. Um, help push for those OTKs. But um, yeah, so with that round the corner, um, with all that said and done, let's get into it. This is a really fun deck. I really do enjoy playing this deck. Um, so, starting off with your vanillas, I'm playing two copies of Spark Man. The reason we're playing two copies of Spark Man is because he gives you the best fusions in the, in the extra deck and, uh, and is the biggest uh, vanilla beat stick in the deck as well. So we're playing we're playing two copies of him. You can bump him up to three. I did have him at three. I wanted to make room for the Neos part of the deck that I just incorporated recently. Um, just to really get that full on like Jaden vibe um, while playing the deck. But it does work really well in the deck and I'll explain why. Uh, when I get to it, but still two copies of Spark Man because as I said, he is most of your fusion materials. But then we're playing one each of the rest, so one Avian, one Bacinatrix, and one Clayman, and then one Neos as well. Now we're only playing one of each of these just because they're just in here mostly for the names. Sometimes you use them for fusion materials uh, to summon their fusion monsters um, um, respectively. Mostly talking about these three, Neos, you're always using him for your fusion materials um, for the Neos fusions. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's why you're only playing one of each. I'm playing one Bubble Man. Um, it's not Bubble Beatdown, so I only need the one copy. Um, it's in here mostly again for the name and the attribute as well. Two copies of Blaze Man. Um, this helps you get your fusion, uh, your polymerization to hand and also dumps the heroes that you need in the graveyard. Especially when you're going for like the Shining Flare play, because you want more names in the graveyard to boost your Shining Flare to um, higher attack. Then we're playing the one Stratos because it's off the ban list and it's a nice rotor for the deck. Uh, one Shadow Mist this combos very well with your Neos play, which I'll explain to you when I get to it. It's a simple play, but um, I'll explain why. One Honesty Neos is what you're always searching. It's a very nice card to have in your hand. Uh, prevent stops your opponent from just um, just blindly attacking into your um, near, your hero fusions that you um, put <laughs> time and effort to summon um, in some cases. So it's a nice little hand trap for that. That's it for like the elemental hero part. Moving on to like the Neos part. I'm playing two copies of uh, Neo Space Connector along with one Aqua Dolphin and one Flare Scarab. Uh, the reason for this is that, well, these three are self-explanatory. Um, I did drop Neos Connector down to two to add in the Flare Scarab. The reason for that is I wanted an additional fusion to summon off my Neos play. And uh, as you all know via my Neos space, my Neos deck profiles, Flare Neos is my favorite <laughs> um, Neos fusion. So I incorporated the Flare Scarab. If you like this ratio and want to incorporate it into your own build, but you're not, um, I'd say keep this, and then this can be any Neospatian you want. It can be like Air, um, air Hummingbird for like Air Neos, uh, Grand Mole for Grand Neos, you get the um, gist of the idea there. Um, so this is just for the consistency, going to resolve, adding more cards to your hand that you need, um, but also get into the Flare Scarab as well if you need to. Um, it's also Flare Scarab has another option for the deck as well. Being a fire, you can use it for your Nova Master, which is a very nice card to summon. And rounding up the monsters is two copies of King of the Swamp. Again, more consistency for your polymerization searching. 
but also to help you go into your big uh, boss monsters like uh, Shining Flare without having the need to go into the previous fusion monster. So that's it for the monsters. Moving on to spells. Going off with the fusion spells is three copies of Polymerization. Uh, it's your main fusion spell in the deck. Um, besides Miracle Fusion. Um, these two are your main power fusion spells in the deck. Uh, Poly is your standard fusion spell to help you go into all of your uh, fusion monsters in the extra deck. And then you've got your uh, Miracle Fusion to help you go from the graveyard as well to get into your uh, bigger power pushes, your big power plays. I am playing one Paolo World Fusion though as well just because to help continue your fusion plays and this is also just a nice top deck if you got strong uh, if you got the needed hero Spanish you can just top deck with a power level fusion and get a fusion monster out and that's it and then Neos fusion this is literally the main your main play with the Neos deck the nearest part of the deck you get into this you play that you send Neos and your shadow mist to graveyard you get your brave Neos out and then Shadow Mist gets you a search for another hero and you can start going off with your plays. Um, so Neos Fusion is a very nice card for that. It's a very strong card and um, it's a very splashable card as well. Very splashable engine um, even if you're not going to fight the Rainbow Neos. Uh, just going into brave Neos for a beat stick uh, while also getting consistency with your Shadow Mist is a very strong play. Uh, again simple but strong play for the deck. And uh, also Flare Neos as well, it's just a nice card to go into for more damage. Free equal, you know, it's equal, you're playing heroes, literally search out any hero in your deck. And then the one Rosa to help you search out not only for your heroes but your near space connector. Uh, one Foolish Barrel to dump the monsters that you need to graveyard, uh, like your Shadow Mist, but also just like any hero, again if you've got your Shining Flare, you know you can just uh, give it more attack points. Uh, one Fifth Hope. Just for like the pot of avarice kind of like play, just shuffle five heroes back into your deck, draw two cards. If you use the only card left in your hand, you draw three. Very nice card. Uh, one monster reborn, one o over soul for the recovery plays. Uh, nice little combo play here of Skyscraper with Skydive Scorcher. Just to help you beat over monsters your opponent has via Skyscraper. And it's complete board wipes and massive damage via Skydive Scorcher as well. Very nice card combo. And uh, one fusion recovery just to get your poly and any fusion material that you've used. To run out the deck I've got three trap cards in the forms of solemn warning, solemn judgment just to negate stuff that you don't want to deal with. And one hero blast just to add heroes back to your hand. If you add like, uh, if you've gone for like the um, and pop monsters on the opponent's field with equal or less attack. So by just going Neos fusion with this already set. Go Neos Fusion, get your Brave Neos, and then Hero Blast Neos back to your hand. Pop something with 2500 or less attack. So, it's a nice little combo play. It's just a nice little additional card for the deck that I just like to play. So, that's it for the main deck. Moving on to Extra Deck. Starting off, we've got your Omni Heroes. So, Absolute Zero for your Water. Great Tornado for your Wind. Shining for your Lights. And Nova Master for your Fire. I'm not playing the um, Gaia, because I... You only got one target in the deck for Gaia, and that is uh, Clayman. So I'm not playing him. Uh, so I only go with these these four. Uh, for your Neos, as I said, Flare Neos because he's my favorite. <laughs> Essentially, he's just my favorite. And Brave Neos for the uh, Shadow Mist uh, Brave Neos play. You also can use this with uh, Neos and um, King of the Swamp. Which is a nice play because then by doing that if you've already got like a Sparkman graveyard and your Link already in play. You can go Fusion, this, Neos and King and then Miracle, Fusion, King and Sparkman gets a Shining Flare and you've got big power play there. And now going to the classic heroes of Dark Bright, Sparkman, King of the Swamp, Thunder Giant, Sparkman and Clayman or King of the Swamp. Um... And then you've got Plasma Vice, Sparkman, and King of the Swamp. Again, as you can see, Sparkman is a common staple for your fusion materials. Uh, one Wild Edge. You can't actually make this. <laughs> I 
don't know why I got it in here. It's just in here. <laughs> I can't actually make it. I just realised it's just doing the profile. Uh, so I don't know why this is in here. Uh, this so this can be anything. <laughs> um, then we got your Phoenix Enforcer and Shining Phoenix Enforcer, and then for my two favourite ones, which is Flame Wingman and Shining Flare Wingman, and then to round up the extra deck and the deck profile is one is Zold to you know for the generic two warrior link and that guys is the deck i hope you all enjoyed it leave your comments down below what you think of it um this will get a buff once dual power comes out as i said once we get that spell card and probably anything else as well i think we hopefully might get the other fusion that just takes um normal uh heroes so that'd be nice to add to the deck should it uh, i can take out um the wild edge for that so, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling. What's up, YouTube? Dad here from Zephyr War Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're going to have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more and as always guys, happy dueling.